say we'll use red and black. So I'm just going to tie one of the LEDs, twist that off, over to here. Let's see if that works. Once you got it twisted, you want to pick up. You want to pick up and then give a twist to see if it's working. And this one is working. I don't know if you can see it. But you'll see the LED light up when you twist it. So you know that's good. Then you take an X wire, and it's good to do one at a time, and just stick it on there. Just parallel it with the ones you just did. And then, same thing, give it a spin. And you should see both of them lighting up. Yep. Okay, so that, that'll be our, our blade. And then you just continue continue on with that. Now, the, it's good to always have at least two on the outside of the blade, just what I found. And then you'll want to put maybe come down a little bit and put your one right here and then always on the back it on the back it's good to put one or two that way if it's facing away from you you'll still have the blue circle plus you'll have an inner circle and I usually put red or something on the back for the inner circle and that way you know which way it's facing and then um, we'll just add a few more onto here and then also you add some right you can write, add some right at the motor and we'll put a little Tupperware cone or any kind of thing you can find over on top of there, it'll light it up. Okay, I put all my LEDs on there, and uh, for the sake of time, we're only going to use five here. And I added one here right at the motor, which is always good to do. And after you get your LEDs, you want to glue everything with either um, some silicone or five minute epoxy and just seal all around your lights in the base because that'll help protect it outside. And um, every time you hook, every time you run a wire, I'd run a wire to each one you hook, you want to take your motor and give it a turn to make sure it's lighting up. And that way you know you got them right. If you, if you put one on there and you hit it and it lights up but the other ones don't light up, you'll have to just reverse your polarity. But it's an easy way to tell by doing that. Let's see. If I turn off the light, let me see them. I'll give it a good spin. Yeah, see they're all they're all working. That's cool. And now in the center, I always like to use a, a some kind of nose cone, and a little Tupperware thing works good here. And if you use a bigger fan blade, you can use a big Tupperware and just put you a bunch of little lights under it because it lights up really cool. And I you just set it, just catch your middle one, set it, and drill a couple holes in there and that'll hold it on there. If you want to, you can silicone around it a little bit. But it helps to protect the motor and also it helps. lights up the whole cone. It looks real cool. Okay, after you get your blade done, you'll just take that and you shove it into your T. Now, it's a it's a good idea not to glue this part. Just take a take a drill and you knock your small, small hole down in there and put a screw. So that way you can take it off if something would happen to it or if you want to change the LEDs, you can just slide it back off. Okay, now for a mounting base, if you're using the half inch, find you a one inch piece of pipe or what really works good is if you get the one inch um, PVC and it works, um, works great. And what happens is That way it slides down in there and it will give you a, a good base to turn. And then you can just drill a couple holes to mount it. And I always just set it down, see how long it is, make sure your hose is underneath so it doesn't interfere with that. And you set it in there, that way it will catch the wind really good. And then you can just mount this on another pole or your deck or somewhere near a window where you can see it is what you want to do. Because when the wind blows you'll be freaking getting out of bed just to see what it's doing. <laughs> And um, that's really about it. I mean, pretty simple, the basics, and you can make it any way you want to. Uh, I'm just showing you, you know, how I do it. If you come up with a better idea, then you can, you can do it. But this is simple, and it works good. I've had them in my yard for a few years, and they're, you know, I got one of them still going, still going good. I added a couple of LEDs to to one, and sometimes they'll, um, you know, they'll they'll fly off and stuff if you don't glue them good so it's a good thing just to glue around everything really good 
but we're supposed to get wind tonight. Uh, I'll take it outside and we'll see what it does. Okay, I'm outside. We're getting some wind, and I got the one that we're working on here. I'm trying to hold it in my hand and shoot it at the same time. I don't know how good that's going to work. Alright, there comes some cold wind. There you go. Okay, getting some good wind. I'll try to hold it up here. I get in front of the camera. See, as the winds get stronger, it gets brighter and brighter. Look how cool that is. That is so freaking cool. And that's the one we're working on. Well, that's it. If you decide to build one, um, you know, try to post a video of it. I'd like to see it. Or if you have any questions, you just email me, and uh, I'll try to answer. Anyways, have fun. Thanks for watching. So cool.